five public servants have been awarded integrity icons for the year 2023 Chosen from a pool of 500 nominees from the public service. They received the award during the Integrity Icon Summit and Award Ceremony held in Abuja. The award, which is aimed at promoting the values of integrity and transparency among public servants, is also viewed as a good way to discourage corruption. We try as much as possible to stay with civil servants who are doing the right thing uh, because we also find out that we might have also concerns when we move up to the higher level of um, political office holders. So basically for civil servants working across different MDAs across the country, um, they are the ones who we have identified this evening to name and fame, five of them out of over 2,500 nominations which we've received nationwide. The choice of civil servants, they are the ones that do the work when it comes to service delivery for citizens. If you go to any ministry, department or agencies, they are the ones you, with whom you will interact with. So for them, it, for us, it's basically how do you rate civil servants who serve the public, the public good, meaning how do you ensure that we as citizens are getting the best um, the dividends of democracy from these civil servants. I'm not sure we will get this from ministers or we'll get them from political officers, but directly, if I go to get my driver's license, I'll deal with the civil servants. If I go to get my passport, international passport, I will. So that's why we have that focus. Citizens, for us, um, identify these people across different MDAs across the country. Just tell us these people that you have interacted with that are doing the right thing. When it comes to accountability, integrity, open governance, and all the likes that justifies that you can build trust with government officials, you can also rate your service delivery as the optimum or the best as, we, as it is. Um, we all have customer service in MTN or whatever you may call it on the private sector. Um, sometimes we say that you have good customers, but how do you also rate government officials when it comes to that? That's why we focus there and ensure that people, ha people can rate based on the criteria they define. Then we will now analyze based on what they have given us on those criteria, they choose those persons to say these are people of integrity. For those who stand out, they are raised and praised, and they are made, as one of them said, they are picked as ordinary people and made celebrities. They are made champions. And so, this also ties into what we do. And so, a lot of them described and said what they want to see is to see the people they serve smile. They want to see them happy. And so as a service provider, when you make people happy, you are also showing a lot of sensitivity to the plight while they are there in your office to get quality service. When you do this, that's the essence of governance. Or oh, they come with an expectation and those expectations are met and exceeded. And so, they also leave very good remarks about the people who have served them. It's also a very good way of laundering the image of the organization that you represent. It says a lot, saying that there are still people who can stand, even um, in the midst of undue pressure to do the wrong thing. People will stand such pressures and do the right thing for the sake of humanity, for the sake of the common good, for the sake of working to serve the people right. The difficult job that um, we do, especially as public servants, really it's not easy. Um, there are times when you see your colleagues, maybe you see a colleague with a new vehicle or something new, it could even be a new cloth, or they are able to just buy things from the mall at times when you cannot buy them or maybe salaries have not been paid and then you don't even know how to sort yourself out and yet you're able to stand out there. I've had near experiences where I had only 2,000 Naira in my purse and someone was offering me 200,000 Naira over a case and I still had to turn down, not because I had so much, but because I just felt that integrity is not just in knowing the right thing, but in doing the right thing. Integrity is not just in doing the right thing when people are there, but also doing the right thing and standing firm when people are not there. And it shows in how we do the job, in communication, in uh, the way we come even to meetings, our attendance, our punctuality, and the way we allow the processes and the system to work together for good for all of us in Nigeria.